What up, y'all? The GMSC Belt. Y'all now tapping in with Chef Mills, you know what I'm saying? And we just feel like we're going to run through everything. You know what I mean? Jesus. Alright, GMSC Dog. Now we back at it again, you know. But we we coming back with them with, with our first interview. Our first interview together, man, you know. This is my very first one of all time, so you know, we're making monumental uh on things on the timeline, so you know. So yeah, I got a couple of questions, you know, uh something slight on the question side of the game. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna first off, I'm gonna start off with asking you, um, what first got you into music? Uh, how about to say, first thing got me into music, shit, uh, back in the days, shit, my own boy T, uh, we used to record on the tape cassette shit to the uh, radio box Word. way back then. You don't know nothing about that, you ain't been in it long enough. But, uh, started doing that, and, uh, bro, bro wanted to do the shit, I guess old boy blowed up off the, uh, my space shit, so, he wanted to try the shit out. I wasn't really into music, like rapping, you know what I'm saying? I was a little, that wasn't my cup of tea, but, you know, after a while, listening to, like, you know, Park, Nat Dre, goddamn, I was a heavy Gucci fan at that time. Listening to them, uh, I started coming up with my own shit. So, after that, it just took off from there. So yeah, man. Uh, I, I heard I heard you mention a couple of artists. So would you would you say like those artists that you mentioned would be like one one of your inspirations to creating music today? I'm about to say hell yeah, R.P. Matt Drake, Busy Peace. Yeah, he uh, he got me going. Been listening to uh, like Giovanni, Larry. You know what I'm saying? God damn, who else? This is a lot of them. Man, just listening to that that uh, that P wave right now. And being that I'm an OG in the game, shit, I'm just taking that route. So, yeah, nice. listen to a lot of laid back player shit nowadays. Oh, playeristic, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> so, uh, how would you describe the music that you typically create? Shit, uh, shit you can groove to, life lessons, you know what I'm saying? Giving the game to the young peas, uh, you know. Just my day-to-day -day life, I just put it in the booth and now I just make it more groovy. You know what I'm saying? Make it groovy and still give you the game at the same time. True that, most definitely. You know what I'm saying? We definitely rocking with that. You know, I'm rocking with it. You know, I done seen you in action, so I definitely get it. But for those who are not familiar with GMSC Dog, he just kind of gave y'all the, you know, the gist of what, what the music, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um... Let's say, what what you say will be your creative process? Shit. For one shit, tap, tap in with Chef Little Beats. <laughs> yes, <saying>? Lord. <laughs> then after that, you know, depending on how my day went, how my week, or, you know, depending on what I'm dealing with at that moment, uh, I'll come up with a hook. You know what I'm saying? Got the hook, the hook, the groove. Next thing you know, I'm on the ones and twos with it. You know what I'm saying? It only take me 30 minutes to really write a whole song and record shit. That's an hour and an hour I had you a banger. That's impressive. <laughs> you work real quick too, man. Off the dribble. You know what I'm Off saying? Chopping block. So, um, who would you most likely want to have a collaboration with on a song? Yeah. Anybody? Yeah, number one guy should be Larry. You know, Larry Jewel. That'd be the first one. Shit, after that, Payroll Giovanni. After that, goddamn let me think. Shit, if I could, got to tap in with one of the legends. You know what I'm saying? Doobie, aka Sugar Wolf Pimp. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shit, Matt Dre was still living. That definitely be number one. That's my favorite artist on the day. Yeah. So you said some names right there, man. Um, nah, hey, man. Y'all hit them up. You know what I'm saying? Maybe one day we can make all of this happen. You know what I'm saying? Uh, let's see here. What we got? Um, oh, yeah, Money Man, too. That's another one I, I tap in with most definitely. Yeah, Money Man. Money Man is definitely one of those. I, I just actually got hooked on the Money Man like this year. Yeah. This year. I ain't even like, I heard the name Money Man, but it was just like, I ain't never really tapping. Maybe because of the name. I mean, yeah. you know, but. 
When I tapped into him finally this year, bro, that shit, when the man sliding. Up for sure, for sure. Made me step it up, and his beat selection crazy too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Money Man. You know, uh, if you can open up a show for any artist, who would it be? I had to open up? Yeah. Shit, any, anybody else. As long as it ain't no, none of that new school gay shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Goddamn, I'm real hell, and I respect him shit. I'm opening. Right. You know? Coming for the bag. <laughs> All right, uh, and that's the same thing with like uh, if you can open, uh, if you if you can go on a show with any artist, would it would it be anybody? Same thing. With the go last on a show like yeah, shit, I, shit. If they had a players tour, you know what I'm saying? I would love to be on that. Like all the peas, you know. I say that whole genre. Like it would. Like man, got down with uh, Giovanni, got down. My other guy, you got Lexi, uh, Kamaya. Yeah, she do her shit. She talk her shit too. You know what I'm saying? Just whoever on that on that P wave. You yeah. know what I'm saying? True that, true enough. You know, um, what is one message you would give to your fans? Shit. Never stop. You know what I'm saying? It took me what four or five years of Bull, like not bullshit, but trying, but not knowing what the fuck I was doing. And then just learning each time, and then finally, boom, got the whole package. I know what I'm doing this time, so now everything opening up. But if I would have been like, damn, ain't nobody fucking with me shit, and just said, fuck it, I wouldn't even be right here giving y'all this interview. True enough. Yeah, you gotta keep going, man. You can't stop, you know, setting limitations to yourself. And that's, that's why a lot of artists don't really keep going because. You know, something, something in their life might get them to stop doing whatever they're doing. You know what I mean? So, yeah, definitely got to keep going. Yeah, they you know got the, the process. They want it overnight. They want it microwave game. You know what I'm saying? But I don't been over this bitch like I be over the stove. <laughs> Word. All yeah. right. So, um, I mean, you perform, right? How yeah. many, how many times do you think you performed in your life? Like twice in my life. Twice. <laughs> right. So, what, like, what was the best? Uh, performance and where where was these performances? Where, where did the performances take place? Yeah, I said the best one was just recently uh, at Moss Fest up in Orlando because when I got on stage, my confidence was up there now. Like I got confidence and I go, I can be myself. I don't get that what a bit thing or what they say. I'm, <laughs> I'm a I got, I'm a joke. I'm a vibe and I'm gonna talk my shit and. It's just the whole vibe, and they like that shit that I just stood out from everybody else. Nice. And that made me want to do it some more now, because now that part out the way. So now every time I get on stage, whatever I do, I'm confident. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely. So do uh, you got any like upcoming shows coming up? Uh, we got one. I might go to one in Polk County. They got an open mic little thing down there on uh, September 23rd. But most definitely, I'm being ATL December. You know what I'm saying? For the final finale of the Moss Fest. We'll be there. So, them two plans I got so far, but I'm trying to tap in with some more shit that's going on around. Most definitely. All right, so, what you what you would say your favorite song to perform? Shit. Got too many songs. <laughs> <laughs> but if I had to, uh, uh, new or old? Anyone. Anyone I can yeah. do? Yeah. Shit. If you had to perform like three songs, your three, three favorite, which one would it be? Shit, it'd be that uh, Ain't Hit No Shit. Uh, got down, hit that Imagine That. At the end of, you no, know, Bring It On Home, hell. Let's see. That Take Care of Yourself. Nice. Yeah. Most definitely, most definitely. All right, so we're going we gonna to switch some gears here a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we're going to talk about this internet shit, right? Right. So, like, how do you feel the internet has impacted the music business? Shit, it done fucked them up. And now you don't need no goddamn, you don't got to be hustling, bustling up to a record label or, you know what I'm saying, all that other shit. Did, did, you can be your own record label now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I took GMSC and turned that bitch to now. That bitch turning up now. You know what I'm saying? And don't get all minds off the stream. 
You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the distribution people, you know what I'm saying? Help me bring in the claim. So, shit, you don't really need that shit now. Nah. You know, back in the day, the mother used to be going up there begging for a contract. <laughs> nah, shit, they, they finding you. That's how it works. <laughs> That is up to you what route you want to take. You want to take the longer route or you want to get in the game and get on that bullshit. <laughs> true enough, true enough. All right, so um, what is the most trouble you ever gotten into? Criminal wise? Any kind of trouble. Criminal wise, whatever. Man, shit. God I mean, we can talk about this because you ain't got no, no cases pending or nothing. No, I ain't got no cases pending. You know what I'm saying? The most I did, I've been in 33rd. The first time I got in trouble, shit, fuck around with T.A. Yeah. But we got caught that time. Got them gripping out of Walmart and shit. <laughs> little, little shit, get by as a jit, you know what I'm saying? Mama ain't working this shit, so yeah, ain't gonna get it to me. I'm gonna take it. Went from that, then went to hustling a little weed, buy my school clothes in high school. Uh, Went to 33rd, whooping, whooping uh, my auntie boyfriend ass. And I split my uh, knuckle over. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if Cap is it, but it's still split to this day. Damn. Try to knock your teeth out. Jesus. Yeah. That shit, Doug got on his ass about $60. Damn. <laughs> so, yeah. so he owed you $60. He owed you $60 and wanted, wanted to try to whoop me. So I snapped and got on his ass. <laughs> I thought about it. I'm like, bitch, you owe me my money. You know what I'm and that that how it happened. They said I put him in uh intensive care. Jesus. Yeah, they thought he got jumped. And I got over there. Yeah, huh? they said that's a single a single hand man did that. Yeah, the police to the to the day to go to the police were like shit. They're like somebody laid the smack down on him. I was like, mm -hmm. damn, crack making jokes and all while they take his ass <laughs> on the stretcher down there. <laughs> Yeah, when I went in that bed, it was straight, you know what I'm saying? I seen my uh, nigga from high school, from uh, Olympia, and uh, was in the same dorm. You know what I'm saying? Shit, they, it was cool. Shit, they read my uh, affidavit, they read that bed. They were like, shit, Jit, Jit ain't fucking out. Shit, I ain't, they ain't trying me nothing while I was in there. So, so the affidavit will set the respect up early for you. <laughs> They don't want to hear your story if they don't yeah. want to see that paper. They yeah. gonna see what you end up for. They saw my shit. Then they seen my hand, cause my hand was still like bleeding. Cause you can see the bone and everything. Damn. They seen my hand, they were like, yeah, he leave a little young boy alone. Right. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so um what is the best advice you've been given? Yeah, uh, I say my god daddy Caesar. God bless his soul. He was just always on me about, uh, he would just give me the word all the time. I go over there, he read the Bible to me every time. He know I need some money, but he gonna read the Bible to me, give me life lessons and all that before he do anything for me. So I say he gave me the most like, like uh, out of Proverbs and all that. He gave me all that to live by. I still kind of live by all that now. That's how I made it to 30. Most definitely, most definitely, man. Happy 30, bro. Shit, you know. Not too many, not too many of our people making it to 30. You know what I'm saying? We got these, you know what I'm saying? These young dudes out here, they carrying that weapon and they're using it on each other. So a lot of people ain't making it to see the big 3-0. So shit, happy Steph Curry, nigga. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, so uh we we gonna we gonna wrap it up a little bit. So uh this is what we're going to do. We're going to ask you uh, one more thing. Uh, what's next for you? Uh, what's next going to be, you know what I'm saying, the, the anniversary album going to be coming out next month, October 13th, my birthday. You know, I do that every year. Uh, don't really have a name for it yet, but I keep y'all posted, you know, as I always do. But in the meantime, me and Chef, we on these music videos, these beats, and we on their ass, man. You know, bringing some more sauce to the game. Most definitely, most definitely, man. And uh, where can the people find you? Where can they find your music and your uh, your your social media inputs and all that good stuff? Uh, so yeah, my social media, uh, Instagram, GMSC underscore dog. You know what I'm saying? You can't miss me. You know, YouTube, GMSC dog. I'm going to be the first one to come up again. 
And then you got on uh, my Twitter. You got on uh, my Twitter gonna be Daryl D underscore Dolphins. Yes, Lord. And uh, Facebook, GMSC Dog. You know what I'm saying? If you want to find me on there. And yeah, that about, that about it right there. That about it. And then my music, you know, iTunes, Spotify. Just look me up. Just look up GMSC Dog. Tap in. You're gonna, you're gonna figure it out. We appreciate you, man, for coming. You know what I'm saying? It's been a good one. You know, man, we're going to have plenty more in the, in the future. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to get better with time as, as time progresses, man. I appreciate you, bro. Yes, Lord. All right, dog. Thank you, Chef.